And then we got Guitar Hero World Tour. Really happy to find this. Definitely uh, makes this trip worth it to come here. I think this is probably my most flipped game in my series. And then I found these. You guys probably won't believe it, but these are Game Boy Advance accessories. Check this out. Power Pack EX. Yep, all these are 99 cents right here. Oh, cool. Oh, it says 99 cents. <laughs> right here, 99 cents per disc. Oh, these. What's up everyone? It's Austin and we're back with another episode of my $10 game collection series. You guys know what it is by now. We're going thrifting, buying items that we can flip to build up a game fund, and then we're using that game fund to purchase video games of my childhood. So to start off this video, I wanted to talk about something that I've kind of started realizing, and that has to do with my YouTube channel. I'm realizing that my YouTube channel is starting to grow and get a lot bigger. Um, the past couple of uh, videos I uploaded, I've been getting great comments and it's really starting to hit me just how big my channel is growing and the fact that I'm going out and getting recognized more in person now. I think it's awesome that people do recognize me when I am out and about, but to me this is still something that's very new and it does get a little awkward I guess when I'm just you know walking around stores and people are staring at me. but. Guys, don't be afraid to come up and talk to me. Um, I'm totally open to that and love uh, talking with you guys and really appreciate all the support that I've been getting. Even for me, I watch a lot of YouTubers and get nervous whenever I meet them in person. And it's the same thing the other way around as well. I still get nervous speaking to people that watch my channel. But I really do appreciate all the support that I've been getting. I wanted to give a shout out to Tanner, Hannah, and Landon from Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, one of you guys left a comment in my video and I did read it and hearted it. I actually read all my comments and the ones that I leave a heart next to are the ones that I did read. Also wanted to give one more shout out. I just recently visited my uh, antique display case at the antique mall and ran into a really lovely family. Um, they said they were from uh, around Eagle, Wisconsin, which is quite a drive away. I spoke with the parents and they were really nice. They said that their kids watched my channel all the time and to me that just felt really awesome. Unfortunately, I did not get to greet the kids, so hopefully I will get to greet them at one point. But yeah, that stuff is actually really meaningful to me and I'm really happy that family uh, made the trip to the antique mall just to look at my antique display case. But yeah guys, my channel is definitely growing right before my very eyes. Let's go ahead and talk about this collection now. We are trying to build up our game fund still. We just got like two games off, crossed off our list. So hoping to just do more thrifting. See if we can find some good deals on some items, maybe some video games to flip. But that's all I got. Let's go ahead and jump into our collection and get into some updates. Here at our video game showcase. And to start off our week, we made two pretty good sales. The first thing we sold is going to be this one right here. This Dynasty Warriors Gundam, and we ended up selling this one for around $35. We got it for $6 at a pawn shop or like a resale store. And then the second item we sold is going to be this right here. We got this last week. We ended up selling this one for $25. So that's pretty much what it's going for. Uh, missing a manual. But after eBay fees and shipping, this is how much we'll get to add back to our game fund. made my way to this goodwill this week and looking for some games some cheap games actually a decent amount of games here too but nothing too crazy got some wii games a wii u game got some playstation games over here just kind of like shovelware games i guess uh, but we got some xbox 360 games would have considered this world at war but check that out 6.99 for this game passing up on that then I spotted uh, two games that I'm actually interested in. Got this Tiger Woods PGA Tour 14. So I don't see this one often. Looked it up and it is going for around 10 to 15. It's actually yellow tag this week too. So we'll get this for half off. So $2, not bad. And also this, I never see this at a Goodwill. Dynasty Warriors 4 um, for $4, which is a little higher. This one I'm kind of debating on. It is missing a manual. We can quickly check the condition of the disc scan. It's actually really clean. I might still pick it up. I mean, $4, you can't really beat that. I think it does sell for like around 10-ish dollars, but 
uh, yeah, I just never see it, so I might grab these two. Also have this uh, NCAA 09. I don't see this one often either, but this one doesn't really have much value, I guess. That's pretty much it. Um, I might just end up checking out with these two and uh, showing you guys the receipt. Because, uh, yeah, not really finding anything else here. Had to make a trip to the Goodwill Outlet bins this week. I already dug through um, a decent amount of the bins. I think I have like two bins left. But I'm going to show you guys some uh, awesome stuff that I found. Well, probably not that awesome, but uh, some Wii games. I got Big Game Hunter 2010. Debating on grabbing this if it's even worth it for a dollar. And then we got Guitar Hero World Tour. Really happy to find this. Definitely uh, makes this trip worth it to come here. I think this is probably my most flipped game in my series. This was like the first game I found and flipped. I think I flipped it like twice in the first episode. And I uh, have been finding this game pretty consistently throughout this series. So really happy to grab that. We got Pirates the Hunt for Blackbeard's Booty. Uh, never seen this game before, but it looks like a ton of fun for a dollar too. Definitely worth it. It is complete as well uh, Got excited when I saw this Shenmue 2 on the Xbox original, but uh, Does not have the game. It's actually got this DVD movie uh, Don't think it's really worth that much Honestly, I'll have to think on if I want to grab this or not. What do you guys think? Would you guys grab this? Hmm. And then uh, Madagascar 2 Escape to Africa this, uh, remember watching this movie, I haven't really played any Madagascar game, but it is complete, and for a dollar, we'll go ahead and grab it. I still have a couple bins to look through, so I'll do that pretty quick, and let you guys know if I find anything else. Alright, so I did end up finding a couple more items, and it's actually these two Insanity DVD sets. So this one's going for like $20, selling pretty consistently on eBay. Uh, might have to grab that and this one's going for like 15 pretty consistently so uh, May end up grabbing both of these for a dollar a piece It's a little bit risky grabbing these because there's just so many discs in here I haven't like gone through and inspected every single disc yet, but I don't think these are missing any discs uh, For a dollar, you know, it might be worth just grabbing if it doesn't you know if there's something wrong I, That's totally fine with me but a lot of profit to be made with these. Other than that, there were a couple of other games and I might just grab these for our um, display case at our antique mall. But yeah, probably gonna grab all of these. So four, five, six dollars uh, worth of stuff plus tax. So I'll probably just round it up to like seven dollars. Back at our game showcase with an update. Just sold one item and didn't really expect to sell this item at all. Uh, it's actually this brand new sealed copy of Saints Row 4. I never played this game so was perfectly fine with selling it. Doesn't really have much value. We ended up selling this for $14 on eBay. And I think we grabbed this at a Goodwill for maybe like 3 or 4 bucks. And we sold another item. It's going to be this one right here. Surprise this one actually sold as well pretty quick. Uh, this MLB Slugfest 2003, this one ended up selling for $14.50 on eBay, and we purchased this for around $3 at a Goodwill. So after eBay fees and shipping, this is how much we'll get to add back to our game fund. We are here at Ultimate Thrift today. Last time we were here, we came away with a nice haul of PlayStation 2 games. Um, had some really good favorites of mine. Probably won't be expecting pickups like that for this trip around, but just gonna scan through really quick to see if uh, there is anything in here. And usually there's nothing over here, but I did find that PlayStation 2 um, Game Shark thing. I don't, I don't know what it's called. All right, I might be interested in a couple more. Maybe yeah, this uh, Super Monkey Ball game. Oh, cool! It's only one ninety-nine. 
Are the Wii games like $1.99? Mm, that's a good question. Yeah, apparently. Okay. Cool. Oh, I might have to grab some more <laughs> then. Can I see this this one right here? This Wonder World game. Yes. Monkey Mischief game? Hmm. And then maybe this Boom Blocks game? <clears throat> okay. Um, and then for these, I might pass on that one. Okay. But I might grab these two. Okay. So, yeah. And then were you all set to go? Yep. Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's going to be 1470. Okay. I'm here at a Goodwill in the toy section, I guess. And there's a lot of stuff that I just want to go over with you guys. Some really interesting finds, unique items. Um, check this out. We got this Lord of the Rings um, Gollum. You can actually try it, and it actually does speak, but... So pretty cool, this is a $9.99, uh, 2003 item. Not a bad collector's item. Uh, also this Batman comes with a card. $14.99, a bit high. I think there's like another Batman one too over here. This one's what, like $9.99? So these were what, $19.99 Hasbro's. So really cool. And then I found these. You guys probably won't believe it, but these are Game Boy Advance accessories. Check this out. Power Pack EX. Power up for an extreme 20 hours of gameplay. Um, these are accessories for Game Boy Advance. Uh, this one's $12.99. I'm actually gonna be passing on this one because it's um, it doesn't really resell for too much. It goes for like 20, 25 bucks. And uh, I really don't have any use for it. I don't really collect for Game Boy Advance. So uh, pretty sure a lot of you guys would pick it up. Then I found this. This one's only $4.99. It's a uh, bodyguard case. Uh, the unfair advantage. Not sure how that is. But uh, it's just a case for, for Game Boy Advance. $4.99. Looked on eBay and didn't really find any sold listings or listings at all for this. So, uh, still kind of debating on that. And then I found this light magnifier for the Game Boy Advance. And um, this one is $4.99 as well. Selling for like $20 to $25 on eBay. So, may go ahead and grab it. Honestly, I could possibly grab both of these and um, list them together on eBay. I don't know if that would be a good idea or not. Uh, it would be $10 in total for these. So, um, yeah, probably going to go ahead and grab these two. Really interesting finds. I bought on this girl a, a pair of shoes for uh, a 10 piece with McNugget. I bought a Jordan, a Jordan pair of 11s. My yeah, mint too. Yeah, off Yari feet. Like fresh off the bus. Yeah, you know them blue, blue Jordans he be wearing? I, I said it for my new bag. We are here at Super Thrift today. Saw a bunch of games at the front counter, so we're gonna have to check that out right away. But uh, yeah, we're here. Let's see what we can find. That help you out, man. Okay. Man, we got all kinds of games here. We yeah, got all I'm these for 99 it. cents. Oh wow. All 99 cents, man. All kinds of different okay. games. I'll definitely dig through there. Yeah, check through uh, that. Yep, all these are 99 cents right here. Oh cool. Oh, it says 99 cents. <laughs> Right here, 99 cents per disc. Oh, these. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I thought so, you saw those. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And those ones are different, yeah. Okay. I mean, I'll spend some time. Did you guys yeah. just get them, I'm assuming? Or? Yeah, we get them. Okay, We cool. get them. We got yeah. balls of games right there. Mm -hmm. So, like, the loose ones are, like, 99. 99. Yep. Okay. Yep. Cool. And then wow. the ones in here, she'll have, she'll have the price for those ones. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, two and three ninety nine. Still good mm -hmm. price. Yeah. Guys, uh, not as busy today, or 
Um, Today's probably not your. You know what? <laughs> Periodically, it'll just it'll get busy one minute, one busy, and then unbusy, yeah. and then busy, and then you know. Uh -huh. yeah. What system do you have? Oh, I got uh, PlayStation Three and PlayStation Four. All right, let's have a look at these loose discs. This is an awesome find right here. Holy cow, that's a good one already. 3DO game, check that out. We'll, we'll bring that, we'll take that one out actually. Oh, we got some Pac-Man. We've got some SmackDown games. I have a lot of these already, so I might actually pass on those. Black Label San Andreas. We've got Rugrats. That's a DVD. Pac-Man World 3. 99 cents. I feel like I have to grab them. Um, hit and Run. I have to grab that. Uh, end Game. You know, I'm really going to pass up on some good stuff because I just don't know these games as well. So don't bash me for that. Oh, all right. Spider-Man 2. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of like pull out the ones I'm interested in. All right. Yeah. Sounds good, brother. <clears throat> worth something. I'm just going to pull that out. <laughs> uh, Aladdin, WWE, oh my goodness. Is this real? No freaking way, but I don't have the case for it. For a dollar, check that out. Where are the odds? This game is on my list. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, I crashed and this as well holy cow i just got this like two weeks ago a week ago wwe crush hour i, I know i'm probably gonna pass up on some really solid stuff space jam oh man i feel like i have to grab this it's kind of scratched but stunt man Land Before Time, Rayman, okay, hmm, two, three, four, five, so like 15 plus like, might be around like 25-ish dollars for all of this, is that worth, you guys let me know, I'm thinking, yeah, <laughs> You shop here a lot for games so you didn't um, see them? I come like every now and then, but like every time I come, you guys always have a lot of good stuff. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That one. Yeah. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. Oh my goodness, guys. This stop was a mega score. Even though we found a ton of loose discs, we found some amazing games out of that bunch. A lot of value. Um, in that collection of games. We got some great Xbox 360 games as well. Some WWE games. I love WWE uh, 2008 with ECW. We got all those loose discs for a dollar a piece. Some of them were a bit scratched. But honestly, I'm okay with the risk of that. I can't believe we found both of these. Digimon World 3 and Crash Bash. We just found Crash Bash. But both of these are on my list. Now, does this count for crossing this off my list? Honestly, I might say no. I want a complete copy, but I could just flip this and use that money to buy the actual uh, complete game. We got a ton of other games as well. Simpsons Hit and Run on the PS2. We got uh, Black Ops games on the Xbox 360. And we got some games to add to our collection. So such an amazing stop. I probably come here like two or three times a month. And 
you guys can tell from my past videos, I find so much great stuff here. I don't know if they're just putting it out as soon as I come or uh, the stuff's just sitting here for a long time. Definitely check out all your thrift stores. You never know what you'll find. And that wraps up our game hunting for this week. We found some awesome items this week and can't wait to go over them with you all. This was probably one of our biggest hauls in a long time now. I'm going to start off with the items we got at the Goodwill. We actually went to the same Goodwill twice and uh, found some decent items both times. The first bundle of items we got were Game Boy Advance accessories. Uh, did not expect to see this at a Goodwill ever. Uh, this is a light magnifier. We got this for $4.99 and then just the case for $4.99 as well. Should I flip these? I don't know. If our game fund gets low, I may flip them. But they're just really cool um, accessories that I just don't often see at Goodwills. So really happy with this find. And then came away with two games. We got Tiger Woods PGA Tour 14. This one goes for like 10 to 15 bucks. We'll probably be flipping this one. And then uh, Dynasty Warriors 4, an awesome game. Don't see this too often at Goodwill as well. We then made a trip to the Goodwill outlet bins and found some decent stuff here as well. We picked up like six items. We actually got two of these uh, Insanity DVD sets. Here's a sneak peek. We ended up selling one of them already. Um, that one was around $15 in value. And this one actually goes for like $30-ish. So hopefully we can get this one to sell as well. We got Guitar Hero World Tour, awesome game. Definitely gonna be flipping this one as well. And then we got this Pirates game for the Nintendo Wii. Looked pretty interesting, didn't see this before. Not sure how much it goes for. Uh, we got all these for a dollar though. We got Madagascar Escape to Africa. Uh, saw this movie, but haven't played this game. Uh, for a dollar, definitely worth the pickup. And then we got this Shenmue 2. Unfortunately, it's just a DVD movie. I actually popped this in my uh, DVD player and was watching a little bit. It's actually like gameplay footage put into a movie. So thought that was pretty interesting. And lastly, we went to a couple of thrift stores. We went to Ultimate Thrift Store and actually got six games. So really nice stop. We got a couple of Wii games and I didn't know they were only like two bucks there. Uh, Bash Party Boom Blocks, a Steven Spielberg game. Don't think this has much value, but it looks like a really fun game. We got Monkey Mischief Party Time. Such interesting Wii games that released. I've never seen this one before. I think for Wii games that I've never seen before, I might just end up picking them up. We got Wonder World Amusement Park. Again, um, not sure what this is. Love amusement parks though. Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. This is a pretty popular one. I'm surprised this one doesn't have as much value as you know other big title Wii games. Then we got two PlayStation 2 games. We got this uh, Pop Cap Hits. Used to play some of these games on the PC. They had Plants vs. Zombies and also Peggle was a really fun game. Then we got Powerpuff Girls Relish Rampage. Uh, really cool to find a Powerpuff Girl game on the PlayStation 2. I think this one does go for around like 10 15 bucks. And lastly, we got a huge haul at Super Thrift. I'm going to go over this really quick. Don't want to spend too much time. We picked up a ton of loose disc games. There was a whole binder full of them, and they were all 99 cents. I honestly just couldn't pass up on all these amazing games. Crash Bash, we just picked this up complete. Um, I thought this one would have had a little bit more value, but not really. NBA 2K18, a great one to flip. The last one I released on the 360. Call of Duty Black Ops, hoping to pair this one up with Black Ops 2 and throw it on eBay. We got some interesting PlayStation 1 games. We got a Spider-Man 2 game. This one has some decent value as well. Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3, really fun fighting games. Naruto Ultimate Ninja, didn't really play these as often, but really cool to pick up. Pac-Man World 3, I know this one has a decent value, but maybe not loose like this for a dollar, definitely worth it. Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness, this cover just looks awesome, and uh, yeah, Pac-Man game on the PlayStation 1. Digimon World 3, this one's actually on my list. Um, if I don't find it, I might just keep this, but ultimately I want to find a complete copy of this, and once I do, I'll probably end up flipping this one. Space Jam on the PlayStation 1. Big time favorite movie of mine and uh, had to grab it. We picked up Cubix. This definitely brings me back. Four Kids TV, um, Saturday morning cartoons. Awesome, awesome title. And then lastly, Spider-Man 2 on the PlayStation 2. Um, not sure why I grabbed this, but for a dollar. 
Now for the games with the actual case. SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. Big fan of WWE games. They were so much fun back in the days. And then also uh, 2010. Didn't play this one too much. Batman Begins. I'm actually a huge Batman fan. And it's awesome that they actually use like footage from the movies um, and put them into this game. Love the Dark Knight trilogy. And then lastly, Black Ops 2. Uh, gonna pair this one up with the loose copy of Black Ops and hopefully get these to flip as well. Also forgot to mention we had a copy of Simpsons Hit and Run disc only and that one actually did sell too so that's a little sneak peek there but really happy with all my pickups for this week i'm ready to just throw a lot of this stuff on ebay to sell to build up my game fund so we can continue our journey for these games on my list but yeah guys thank you all for watching if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with more content that i upload and also just to support my channel and what i'm doing but that's all i got for now thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next one